This is an old Quad 34 preamp. And the problem with this one is when the um, the guy who owns it hooks it up to an audio streamer, which is all based on a Raspberry Pi. Um, so when any on-screen buttons are sort of clicked on the streamer, it results in sort of different computer noises coming through, uh, getting into the preamp. So there's nothing really wrong with the audio path if you, you know, put a signal generator into it and stuff, it all comes out looking as it should. But what I did notice with it is the earthing is really bad. So we've got the, the mains goes in there. And if you put a multimeter between the this earth point there and the earth point there, you get about four ohms resistance. Also the equally the ground points on these inputs were there's a four ohms resistance between those and the earth and the actual sort of mains earth. Um, and it looking at the way it's designed that shouldn't really be the case because mains goes in there. Goes into a wire there, drops down into the PCB. So then this is the earth wire there, comes and it attaches to this bolt. Now these bolts attach to the metal work. As you can uh, see, this is one I've actually I've actually modified this, but there's another one in there. There's one there's one in each corner. So yeah, another one over there and over there. But it's not creating the best connection. So the, the sort of connect the, the way it's just sort of relying on the that's the screw. It's relying on a connection from the a pad on the back of the PCB to the metal work of the casing through where just where this screw is um, screwed into this kind of metal lug. So what it, yeah, so on this one I've taken the screw out and then scraped off all the metal on the scraped off all the paint on the top of this metal. And then I put a longer screw in, then uh, with a, a shake-proof washer. I think I'll put shake-proof on both sides of it and a nut. So that's now giving me a nice good ground connection between the main earth input and all the grounds on the uh, on the DIN plug inputs and the, the earth point on the back panel. So I'm hoping that's going to restore the, stop the noise, because it's not really much else I can do with it. There was also on this one some of the tracking was all burnt out. Looks like somebody's changed um, I think it's either that one or it looks like one of these chips has been replaced in the past and it looks like when the chip failed it caused a load of tracks to burn out so I had to add some little wire straps The, one of the other things I found failed on this one, there's a and these sort of class X2 capacitors wedged down there, goes across the mains. It's like a, this one's actually a snubber capacitor. It's got a capacitor and a resistor in it. That's the failed one. Looking at the other side of it, it's gone into total self-destruct mode. So, um, that quite clearly isn't going to work any longer, so I've replaced that one with a, with a new one. So the unit's all put back together again and tested with the streamer that was causing the problems of noise getting into the unit, and it's now working perfectly. So thank you for watching this video, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for um, notification of uploaded videos. Thank you.